in a house often divided by politics. Leaders of parliament on Tuesday found common ground against the Electoral Commission on an issue proving to be controversial in a run-up to this year's polls. The minority leader, Dr. Kessel, to force in first condemned attempts by the Electoral Commission to abandon the use of indelible ink. When the biometric verification device fails, indelible ink on the voter's finger provide the surest way to identify a person who has already voted. Mr. Speaker, we will not countenance the elimination of the indelible ink from the electoral process. We will not. And let the Electoral Commission read our lips. We will not. Mr. Speaker, touch wood. We will not allow the electoral process to be done without indelible ink. His position was supported by the leader of the House, Osei Chairman Sambonsu. We are appealing to the Electoral Commission to reintroduce it and also ensure that the ink that they apply is very fast and cannot be easily erased. So, Mr. Speaker, I agree with my colleague. I had already raised this matter much, much earlier. So I should welcome him, I should welcome him to the club. The Speaker of Parliament, Alban Bagbin, in his welcome speech, bemoaned the rising spate at which MPs lose their seats in Parliament off the back of the recent NPP primaries. I want to appeal to the political parties to take this matter up seriously because the investment that is made in an individual MP is so huge for the nation just to always go waste after every four years. The effect of the new standing orders were in full swing in Parliament today as members recited the National Pledge and had to respond to their names being called out uh, via roll call. And uh, we are told the roll call is going to be a daily affair at the discretion of the Speaker while the National Pledge will be recited on a weekly basis. There are other interesting new additions and features in the new standing orders. The House continues sitting on Wednesday. Duke Bento Poku, TV3 News, Parliament House, Accra.